Hey, Cake Nisas, it's Marisha. You know you purchase something that becomes almost like your best friend? Well, this is my new purse. Pineapples are no longer just a fruit. They're like a trend. They're a style, they're a fashion statement. I saw this and I couldn't walk past it. But I did, because I, I didn't want to pay for it. But then I walked up to it again and um, yeah, I had to get it. It's my best friend right now, unfortunately. You guys may have heard of cake popsicles. They are cake pops, but more in a popsicle form. So today I'm going to be making Pineapple cake popsicles. We're going to have pineapples included in the cake dough. Then we're gonna just decorate them to look like really, really, really cute pineapples. If you haven't done so yet, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on that little red box. Let's get started. As you can see here, I'm just crumbling up my cake. This was some leftover cake that I had. So now that I've got beautiful fine cake crumbs, I'm going to make this pineapple cake by adding some pineapple that I actually pureed myself. Okay, that was hard. And then I'm also going to add a dollop of yellow frosting. Lovely, yes, okay. I'm actually gonna add some yellow candy melt to my cake dough. And while it's hot, I'm going to incorporate this as fast as possible before it completely solidifies on me. I'm just gonna make a ball. You know, you look at something all your life and then when you're actually trying to make the shape, it's like you forget what it looks like. So that is my first pineapple. 200 more to go, no, just kidding. SpongeBob would like love these cake pops. I've melted some more yellow candy melt and I pulled out my cute popsicle sticks. So I'm going to dip this into my candy melt and then about half of the way into my cake. I'm going to be careful because they're still pretty soft. I put my cake popsicles in the refrigerator to harden for about 30 minutes. And then I went ahead and dipped my popsicles into my yellow candy melt. You can set those aside to dry. It should take about 10 minutes or less. Then you're going to put some of that yellow candy melt into a piping bag with a small round piping tip. Probably like a number 4 or 5 would be best. And you can go ahead and pipe your grids on the cake popsicles. And you can do smaller grids, you can do larger ones. I like the larger ones for some reason they just look more appealing to the eye if you will and then I went ahead and dipped a toothpick and some brown gel dye to make some little brown speck and then for some other popsicles I went ahead and took some gold luster dust and a little bit of orange extract and I painted some of my pineapples in gold because they deserve to be drenched in gold sometimes as well. For the leaves I just used some green fondant. I just cut them into little pieces and cut out little leaves. I used the yellow candy melt once again to act as glue to stick those to the pineapple popsicles. Aren't they adorable? And once you have put the leaves on all of your popsicles, that is it, you guys. Pineapple cake popsicles, it doesn't get any better. Pineapple cake popsicles, perfect for the summer weather, yeah. I'll bet you guys enjoyed this video. Couture in a pineapple cake popsicle. Bye, guys. I feel like we almost look alike. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. For more videos like this one, give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you really liked it and that you really like fruit. Who would have thought that puree pineapple in the cake dough would actually be that good? It tastes so good. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Isn't it funny when food becomes a trend? Avocado. We went through quinoa. We went through... Nutella, we're still going through Nutella. 
chia seeds. Now everybody wants to, I can't. Every time I see a chia drink, I think chia 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 chia. And I just see the plant that you would, from the infomercial. And I just think my chia pet. I finally got a chia pet as soon as the chia seeds started popping. And I, I, I looked at the seeds and how they got mushy. And I said, I can't imagine putting this in my delicious fruit smoothie and drinking it. I feel like I'd, I'd be drinking a Chia Pet. Random, I know. Bye guys. <laughs> ja, 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 ja.